on today's episode. In previous videos, uh, I've just shown you how to uh, prepare and take the photos of these old glass negatives. And now we're going to process them. Now, normally on this channel, I do electronics and repairs and things like that. But occasionally I'll present something that may be a little bit out of the ordinary, but still interesting. Uh, if you agree, then uh, please consider subscribing. Here I've made a folder and imported all the negatives from my camera. Uh, I think there's something like 57 here, so that would be a real pain to do one at a time. We have this uh, XN View program. Now, there is a new version of this out, um, XN View MP, but um, that is missing the, uh, the conversion from uh, color to, to black and white for some reason. So I'm sticking here with XN View classic version, if you will. If we go to the tools, batch processing, what we need to do is obviously to add our, our folder. So now we can see all the, all the files. And then we simply click on the transformations. Now at the top we have convert. Now these were taken in, in color on my camera. So the first thing I want to do is to convert those to grayscale. And then with the mapping function, I want to be able to, first of all, transform it, uh, although it's a negative already. If we negative a negative, get, we get a positive. So that's the, the process there, which will take us to, to black and white. What I'm also going to do is to do auto levels and then auto contrast. That will give me a base level um, from which to uh, to analyze the uh, the output and make any necessary corrections from there. But I find these settings uh, do what I need. So the other thing that I want to do, um, we could actually make this into a script uh, for, for future reference. So if we call that Glass negatives. This is one that I made before. We can just save that. What I want to be able to do is to put these into uh, a different directory. So I won't use the original path. And if I go into the dialog here, and select my pictures folder, and then the negatives folder. Create a new folder. So now we're ready to go. So we'll press go. As you can see, this is an awful lot faster than doing it by hand. So with that conversion complete now, if I go to my black and white folder, here we can see the results. In this instance, I want to open with, say, Windows Photo Viewer. <laughs> this guy up here looks a bit like Stephen Fry. Rather exotic looking young lady. Uh, Rapunzel. This would have been a difficult shot during the, the day, uh, an action shot of a, a roller skater. One must assume that these were taken during the First World War. Gypsy girl with a zither. An impressive moustache. No doubt somebody could date this one from the motorbike, but uh, sadly not me. Pictures of cats, always popular. Can't quite make out what they're mining there. That's interesting. Yes, the boy is holding a model steam train. Fascinating. The days before Mamod. And there's a young lady taking a photograph. Uh, this, this possibly is the first selfie. I can only imagine that this was um, a Christmas scene. It's a shame. Can't quite make out the date on the, on the girl's own annual. Even the dog gets a treat. So there we have it. Um, XN view. 
excellent tool for this batch processing job and, and many others. I think the more that you start to use it, the more that you'll, you'll find that it can do absolutely amazing and free for personal use. Although I strongly suggest um, tipping the guy a few shekels for his efforts. <laughs>